Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a wireless technology where there is no physically wired between the sender and the receiver. It is used by radio frequency, the RF technology. It frequences within a radio with the electromagnetic spectrum associated with radio wave propagation. It supplies through an antenna and an electromagnetic field is created through the space. So here in this diagram, you can see there is an antenna and there is a electromagnetic field around to connect various devices. It's also said like an access point, a one point where various devices are connected and broadcasted. So here you say like there are some computers and cell phones uh, set for an example. So in the computer and the phones, the network name or the signal will be able to be visible in your devices and it is obtained using wireless network adapters the adapters is the one which receives the wireless signals and the wi-fi supports many applications and devices includes video video game consoles and home network applications pdas mobile phones and major operating systems any product that has been tested and approved by Wi-Fi certified, which is registered as a, as a trademark. Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, that's IEEE, is a one institute that gives you the standard for your wireless local area network. So they provide you a standard so that it could be maintained in various uh, various forms or various devices in your Wi-Fi. And all the Wi-Fi standards have a different frequency bandwidth as well as a different in speed. 802.11 is the frequency on or if it is said to be the standard that is given by IEEE and you can see that all the uh, there is some differences between the IEEE standards that's the 802.11 a b g and n these are the some of the types of the wireless standards and it does has a different output speed and gives you a frequency band the 2.4 here is the quite common one that you get for your wireless devices the 5 gigahertz is the dual band that comes under more than 600 mbps that's the speed so there are some routers or the wireless devices that that provide you a single band and a double band the single band is the standard wireless connection the 2.4 and the double band is the 5 gigahertz so these are the some of the standards and the speed the frequency band and these are the difference that uh, is being maintained that's the standard that's maintained from ieee and here is the difference between the 3g and the wi-fi we have seen that the IEEE has given the 802.11 is the standard for Wi-Fi. Similarly, for your standard for your 3G network is CDMA. That's a WCDMA. That's quite commonly given from your cell phone companies to access an internet. And it does gives only a maximum speed of 2 Mbps. But in Wi-Fi, it's 54 Mbps. And it does covers a large area in 3G because this cell phone can be 
access the okay, cell phone can access internet in any place within the coverage area that in several several computer several kilometers get covered in it but wi-fi is like an access point so it is placed in one point where it's gonna give you or it's gonna broadcast the signal so it's only about 100 meters its advantages of 3g is that we get a good range and it works also with mobility but wi-fi is cheap as well as it's faster the disadvantages of 3g is that it's relatively slow expensive but here in wi-fi it works in short distance but it's always good comparing with 3g now you are going to see how to get connected with your wireless network so at first the wireless network is should be turned on and in your computer you would be able to see the network name that is said to be the ssid is the name of your network and there is a wireless standard mode it can be changed of the user's choice here you can have an option to change it as 802.11 g only or g and b or b only you can change this and there is some security settings that is being pre-programmed in your access point that is your wireless wi-fi router either it can be none means there is no security in it you can see the name of the network in your computer click on that without a password you can go online and the WEP, WPA and WPA Enterprise are a type of security where the WEP is the web encry encryption techniques. So here also you have an option to select which security mode that you want. And depending upon the security mode, the password of your router also gets changed because they have uh, two different patterns of uh, creating a password so this is how we get connected to wirelessly so in order to explain Wi-Fi briefly Wi-Fi works through radio frequency RF and it has an access point works as an access point placed in one place it broadcasts the electromagnetic signal to all the wireless devices that you have connected and it is made as and it is made it is received the wireless signal using the network adapters wi-fi supports various devices such as gaming consoles your pda mobiles etc and the wireless standard is 802.11 802.11 a b g and n and the frequencies varies from and the, and also the speed varies comparing with all the standards and this is all about connecting to wireless